what was working for you in the second half that wasn't in the first? I mean, you didn't have any points in the first half, and obviously made a lot of shots in the second half. What was working for you in the second half? Uh, my teammates, uh, my coach, and the coaching staff, just uh, always keeping a positive vibe with the whole team, and just telling me to keep my head in the game and uh, let it come to me. You know, don't just don't rush it. Including Nick, uh, just talking to me during the game, uh, just giving me confidence during the whole game. Nick, what, what did this win mean based on you know, the last game and getting the first season and everything? How important was tonight? Um, it was a great win for us. Um, I know it helped us out a lot coming back home in front of our fans. I think we had like 2,700 students um, there supporting us, so you know that was huge. And um, it was it was huge getting this win, first win, SEC win under our, our belt, and we'll be ready to go to Auburn Saturday. Well, for both guys, you, know, you talked a lot about this year about you know building on momentum, handling success. And you have a halftime lead today. You outscored Vanderbilt, I think, 11 to six in the first few minutes. You outscored by 18 over the whole second half. What allowed you guys to just not have those second half collapses? Uh, just talking to the team, keep, uh, uh, just be positive with each other, uh, and the whole team just come together, really. Uh, we all talk to each other, uh, players on the bench talk to each other, players on the court talk to each other, and the time out we talk to each other at the same time, just keeping it positive and uh, nothing neg uh, negative during, uh, during the game, just to keep that lead, because uh, now we're starting to uh, grow on that, uh, we're starting to know if we come up with a good second half, we know we can play with a lot of teams, so that's our main focus. Yeah, um, like Rayshon said, just to piggyback off of that. That's something that we really tried to focus on. Um, you know, we struggled with it throughout the year. And like tonight, we did a, a great job of just coming out in the second half, staying focused. Yeah, let's, uh, you led only 5655 when Coach Green called a timeout, put you and uh, Derek back in. What keyed the decisive run there? I think it was like an 18 to 2 run that came away. Um, I think, you know, just coming in, bringing intensity, you know, feeding off of my teammates. And then I think a lot of guys started knocking down shots. It was, that were huge. Um, Turtle, Turtle came up big, Derek, you know, Rayshon, they just started hitting shots and shots started falling and we continued to play solid defense. Rayshon, uh, three point shooting for this team against Tennessee. You guys struggled early in this game. You struggled, but then you guys got really hot towards the end when they were waiting on your tail. How uh, important is that part of uh, what you guys do? Uh, it's a uh, main focus in practice. Uh, we know we, uh, we had to get better, and our main focus was just to uh, hit shots and get better at it in practice and just knock down shots that we know we knocked down. We did for the last eight to seven months yes, as a team. So uh, everybody getting confidence back. And just uh, tell them when you hit a shot, great job. And if you don't, you know, you'll get it, you'll get the next one. So that's our main focus, you know, not to, uh, never bring nobody down. Just inside for both of y'all, just inside the 10 minutes, you guys got a couple of consecutive three-pointers and turnovers that kind of sealed the game right there. Around that time, what were y'all saying to each other? What was Coach Green saying to you guys? What was the conversation like? Was that sort of like a dagger move for y'all? Yeah, we just, we just wanted to finish the game strong. You know, we felt like we want to just keep pushing. And like right now, we just we put a, put a nail in a coffin. Um, some guys hit some big shots, and we got some big stops. Uh, including that, uh, we being coaches on the court with each other. Uh, you know, helping each other out, uh, the same things that the coaches don't see, and just talking to each other when we come back to the sideline, just tell the coaches what's going on, and they adjust to it. So that's our, that was our main focus. Yeah, and I, I'll go ahead. One more thing, um, I just want to give credit to um, Coach Amir, um, the GAs, and the coaching staff. You know, they did a great job with the scout, um, with Vanderbilt, the scout team, everybody. I know you kept talking about everybody staying positive, but was there a sense? I mean, were you getting frustrated after the Tennessee game in the first half tonight? You know, did that uh, I can say the Tennessee game, uh, the whole team was frustrated. Uh, I was frustrated because, uh, you know, we played bad. And the first half, uh, I think I was letting it linger in my head. But then I uh, sat on the bench and just thought about it and let it go. And the second half, I just came up with a positive attitude. Any more questions? I guess we consider everything tonight. I mean, do you guys feel like this is the most complete game you guys played this year, you know, from the beginning? Uh. It's one off. Yeah, I would say it's, it's one off. Close to it, you know, just just the way we just um, came out in the first half, solid, and then the second half, you know, having that surge and just staying locked in and not letting the game get away from us like we have a, a few times this year. So, personally, Rayshon, was this the best half of, uh, of your Georgia career? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just being positive and just staying, uh, just staying focused. You know, uh, just my coaches and teammates just being positive with me and not letting me down and not, you know, just saying everything positive, uh, get my hair right. So, yeah, that's probably my best half. Definitely. Any more questions? Okay, thanks, guys.